So what I want to cover off in this video is how to create a new Azure Key Vault. And Azure Key Vault is a great place for storing things like passwords and other credentials you want to secure. Now to find where the Key Vault is, we need to log into the Azure portal as an administrator. Go up the top here and do a search for Key Vaults. You'll see that we have a selection there which we can open and it'll take us to Key Vaults. Now remember you will need a paid Azure subscription if you're going to use Key Vaults. So make sure that is in place first. Here you'll see that I have a key vault already in place, but I'm going to create a new one in the top left here and follow through the wizard. Now, the first thing I'll be prompted for is an Azure subscription. It is possible to have multiple subscriptions inside a single Azure environment. Typically, you only have one. We need to target a resource group for this key vault to live into. So a resource group is simply something that can be used to put resources and use as potentially a security boundary and a management boundary as well. Now, if you haven't got a resource group that's suitable, you can go down here and select the option to create one, but it's always best practice typically to create a resource group beforehand. Now here we'll need to enter the name of our key vault. It needs to be unique. You'll see that there are some limitations uh, around that. It needs to have alphanumeric characters and uh, basically it cannot start with a number, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, call this uh, demo vault, give it a unique name here. And then the next thing is to select the region. This is the data center in which it will live. I'm going to put this in Australia Southeast. And you'll see I've got an option here for the pricing tier. Now, typically, all you'll need to do is stay on the uh, standard pricing tier, but there is a higher level if you do wish that. If we scroll down the scene, you can see, screen, you can see here that we have the option to um, control how many days soft delete is enabled for, uh, 90 days by default, no need to change that. So let's go into the next option here. Now we want to configure how we get access to this key vault. And typically we were going to want to use the uh, Azure role base, so RBAC uh, permissions to do that. Uh, there are some options here that you can change if you want, but generally no changes required, go to next. Here we want to have a look at the networking settings and this determines that our key vault will be available publicly. So if we're gonna work with PowerShell uh, on a device, we're gonna to need to have public access, but you can change that if you want, only make it available uh, to uh, environments inside Azure if you wish. No adjustment generally made here, so let's go to next again. You can add tags uh, to this environment if you want, but generally we wanna go next. And we should come up to the review screen here. So what we need to do is just have a look through and make sure that everything is set um, as we've expected, all looks good. So let's hit the create button and it should now go off and spin up our key vault. Our key vault environment won't take long uh, to go in there and configure. When we do that, we need to go back in and probably make some permission changes to allow our access. So again, let's wait for this deployment to run. You'll see we get a progress uh, item here giving us an idea of how long it is, what's happening uh, in the background to make all of this uh, possible. So what I'll do quickly is just pause the video and we'll come back when that process is complete. Okay, so that process didn't take long as expected. Now we can click the button here to go to our new resource. So we're taken directly to our uh, key vault here. You'll see all the settings and so on. Now, if we do want to get to that via the normal method, we just again go to the key vaults option you'll see that here's the key vault that we just created let's select that and once again we get all the details uh, which we were just viewing now the next important thing here is going to be setting the permission so let's go into the objects here down under secrets uh, give that a moment you'll see we get this banner across the top saying this operation is not allowed by RBAC so we generally don't have the administrative rights even though we created the key vault to go in and manipulate secrets and those sort of things. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to go over on the left hand side here to uh, access control area and then you'll see we go under uh, role assignments here and then once we've done that we need to go in and add a new role assignment. So let's select that and select add role assignment from the menu up the top. Now we need to go in and find the option here for the key vault administrator. So the key vault administrator is going to give us, you know, those full rights across the key vault. Now, of course you can go in and select uh, whatever role that you want, but again, we just wanna make this nice, keep it nice and simple. So we will select the key vault uh, administrator here as the role we want to assign. Go next. 
And now what we need to do is we need to assign that to the users who are going to be using the key vault. So what we're going to do here is uh, select the option here for members. We'll get a, a window on the side. So let's again put in uh, the name of the user that we want uh, to have access. In this case, it is the uh, current administrator. So let's select that user. And that user will then uh, basically appear in the members here. So you can go in as many members as you want or configure uh, individual permissions. But in this example, let's just keep it simple. Give the current user the rights to go in and manipulate uh, the secrets inside the key vault. So let's go to next to continue. All right, you'll see here we want to review. That all looks good to us. Let's go and select the button down the bottom to actually go and assign the role. We'll get a progress in the top right. Doesn't take long for those permissions to be assigned. Now, if we go back to our keys here, all right, you'll see here that that banner has disappeared and you'll see that we can go in and generate and create keys quite easily. So that's how simple it is to go in and create a key vault and then set up some basic permissions so that you can go in and start storing our secrets to do that. So again, the way that we did that is we went into the key vaults area inside Azure, we went through the wizard to go and create a, a key vault. And again, the idea here is that you can create as many key vaults as you need. Once you're inside the key vault and you have set it up, don't forget to go in and set up the access control to suit your particular needs. And then typically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting our, our credentials that we want to keep safe inside keys, secrets, and certificates. But really that's how easy it is to go in and set up an Azure key vault.